Oh, fish on, big fish. Big fish, oh! Oh shit, that's a big one. Come, come grab this one. Captain Tim calls these gumdrops. These are little baby flying fish and there's thousands of them. That's a big fish, man. There's your bimini. Dude, that's a huge one. I barely got him. Let's go! Oh! I had to dig deep for that one, baby. Big mahi, man. Let's go. Get that hook out of there. Hey, don't even fit in the bag. Don't even fit in the bag, man. What's going on everybody and welcome to today's episode of Real Ports where we're in the end of the summer pattern here and we are covered up in some really nice mahi in shallow. What a luxury to have these fish just, you can see the shoreline right off the beach here. I mean, we are just less than a couple miles offshore and we are covered in them. There are flying fish schools, balu schools, everything's coming together out here. Every bait in the water is getting hit. It, there's some big fish out here too. Luis got one about 15, 20 pounds. We're looking for that 30, 40 oh, right yeah. now. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Low, they're flying low, yeah. Oh yeah, balu schools, 60 feet of water. Let's see what they're on, baby. Oh. Northeast wind, about 10 to 15, 2 to 4 out here. LTV is eating it up. And these, these frigate birds are low. Oh, and they're on an edge, buddy. Look at the green blue edge. Yeah, it's eating it. We're on a nice blue green edge here. Frigates all over the place. Grab, grab me a bait, too. Frigates all over. Nice blue green edge out here. We're gonna have to go a little further up probably. Put that in the bucket for me. Frigates all over here. Let me get you up front here. Frigates all over, dude. Hang on. Hang on. You don't want to run under the frigates, you want to run around them. Toss, get ready to toss your bait in. Go for it. See all the frigates down there? We might have to run to that next school of frigates, but let's see what's going on over here. There's frigates everywhere. We got the blue water underneath us. I've been fishing the mullet run every day. It's nice to have a little change of pace here. Right now we're working one frigate bird, but in the distance there's like five oh, working areas. Fish, 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 nice fish, dude. Nice fish, double, double, double. Big dolphin, big dolphin, dude. Nice dolphin, dude. Oh, yeah. Nice dolphin. Find a bird, you find a fish. That simple. Nice oh, dolphin. Yeah. Nice fish, buddy. Nice fish. Look at, that drag. Look at that drag. Nice fish. Oh, what a Good fish, dude. Today. Perfect, Rod. We're out here. We were planning on fishing oh, the nice mullet fish. run. All these uh, finger mullets on the trough. What we couldn't finger. get them because they were too close to the trough. So we decide to run offshore. All right, all right. Maybe you could even call it offshore, right? We are barely offshore right now. I'm gonna get the fish bag set up, the gaff. We got nice gaffers on here. Oh yeah. Buddy. Hell yeah. Look Good work, that. going right in the fish bag with that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, dude. 
Oh, the flood, the battle here are getting showered up. Oh my getting god. Getting showered up. And the flyers. And the, the flyers. flyers, yeah, yeah, getting showered up. Dolphin all over. There you go. That's a nice fish, buddy. Not an ideal shot. That's a nice fish. Alright, cut it and then grab another hook. Frigate's right here. Frigate's right here. Oh yeah, flowers coming out of the water right here. There's a frigate following a big dolphin over there. Guaranteed. There we are, there's the, there's the flyers. Get them out there, dolphin right there. Dolphin everywhere, there's frigates. Look at this. The frigates are putting us on these big mahi all over the place. We weren't even prepped for this. We were fishing the muller run today, but we saw the Ballyhoo schools in the distance. Oh, oh. oh yeah! Big one. Nice, nice fish, mahi. dude. Listen to that drag. What a beautiful fish. What's going on, everybody? You got about a 20 pounder on there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Right rod. Right You had the setup. choice to, to throw the, the ultralight or this one to him. We had to go with this bad boy. <laughs> I was about to make the mistake of throwing that light rod on him. Saw him, too. <laughs> nice he fish. wanted one. That's the fish you were looking for, man. Flyers, baby. Boom. Got a little bit. Boom, baby! In the boat. Let me get that other bite. Beautiful mahi. Another bait here, out. Here, take this one. Take this one. You ate it already. Oh, wait. Oh. Wide oh open. Oh my god, my. big, huge mahi. Big mahi right there. Big mahi right there. Gonna right, hang in on. Water. Look at that thing, bro. That thing is huge. It's like a 20 pounder. Look at him right there. Oh, this is a nice one. Not bad. Put him in the boat or what? Where's the big one? He's right here. He's right here. Right here. Yeah, Off the bow. He's going in the bag. Dude, that fish is big. He ate it, he ate it, he ate it. That was a big one. It is a big one. Nice one. Might be. Let's go get yeah. on here. Look at that, baby. Buddy. Oh. In the boat. Not in the well. One thing about mahi fishing, you gotta stay on top of the blood. Luis here doing good work. Keep it nice and clean up here because later, once that dries, it's impossible to get off. Rather do it now, even though we're in a hot bite. Oh, we're getting bit over here. Getting bit, we got one on right here. As soon as he's done cleaning, we're gonna get back on the bite. Again, we're not keeping too many fish today. We're observing, taking it all in. Practice a little conservation when you're out here. You can easily catch 100 fish today. But what's the point? Honor these fish. Here we go. All right, things chilled out here for a second. We got the boat cleaned up. We got some ice on those fish. This is our best time of the year to have a chance at that 30, 40, 50 pounder. We're gonna see if we can get them and then we're gonna head in. We got plenty of fish in the bag here. Now we're just looking for the birds, looking for the flyers. As soon as I find those frigate birds again, we're gonna head right over there. I lost them in the mix of the commotion there. But the frigates are on the schools of flying fish and the dolphin 
right there underneath them. And they are big. They had all summer to grow. And you guys know that dolphin are the fastest growing fish in the sea. See yeah, see the... Oh, they're over there, all the way over there. Are you seeing dolphin or are you seeing bait? No, no, I'm seeing the frigate. Yeah. Oh, the frigate's way down there. Way down there. Okay. We got flyers here too. Yep. I think we're gonna wind up and go to them. Let's do it, put one in the bucket for me. You can still catch fish right here outside of the frigates, but higher percentage. Definitely get on them. And like I said, this is the best time of year. Not a lot of people know, but coming into November, you'll see some of the biggest fish caught on realreports.com. You guys keep checking in on there. There's a lot of great guides out here that fish full time. And that's how I know that there's a lot of big fish caught this year. When you think mahi, when you think dolphin, you think summertime, you think run and gun, you think go get those little peanuts. Let those fish grow all year long. Come out here in October, November, catch some big ones. There's a lot of flyers over here, dude. Well, let's see what we got here. Throw them in the box. Oh, look at all the flyers! Something for him. Got broken rods over here. <laughs> Running on an epic, absolutely insane mahi bite. Probably the best mahi bite I've ever been in. We got flyers everywhere, frigate birds. Look at nice that. Fish, bro. fish busting all over the place. What a fish, buddy. Let me open that for you, hang on. Oh, fish on, big fish! Big fish, oh! Oh shit, that's a big one. Come, come grab this one. Getting a mahi in the fish box. And while we're doing that, this rod absolutely goes, gets hammered, screaming drag, big mahi jumps out the water. We're on them, for sure. This has got to be one of the most epic dolphin bites that I've ever seen. I hate calling them mahi, because I grew up calling them dolphin. Everybody calls them mahi like we're in damn oh, Hawaii. Look at those oh, oh! Big fish on them. Flyers are going nuts out here. There's. Captain Tim calls these gumdrops. These are little baby flying fish and there's thousands of them just getting showered by these dolphins all over the place. And we're only in 90 feet of water. Big fish. This is the biggest fish of the day right here. Maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds. What are we thinking? Bigger? No. Bigger? Bigger. We're going to have to see. Piped the pilchard on a circle hook. Oh, oh. Listen oh. to that drag screaming. See jump hook. What a fish, dude. What a fish. What do you think? Is that the best sound or what? Oh, he's gonna jump. Just like on a screw line. Oh, man. We wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. We weren't even gonna get ice today, but Luis, being the meat fisherman that he is, he knew we were gonna get into some kind of trouble over here today. We were going tarpon fishing. That's a big fish, man. 
There's your bimini. Let's go! Oh! I didn't dig deep for that one, baby! Big Mahi, man! Let's go! Get that hook out of there! Yeah. Got it. High nice nice fish. Box. Let's go in the box. Bottom. Oh, yeah! Look at that thing! Don't even fit in the bag! Don't even fit in the bag, man. All right, guys. That is it for us out here. The bag is full. I carry a half day bag because I just don't want to put a complete hurt on the fish out here. That's plenty of fish for me, Luis, his family. His family loves to eat fish, so they're going to be enjoying some nice fresh mahi. We're going to clean the boat. We're going to head back to all over here, get some more ice. The bite is still going off out here. This was an epic time. Next, we're going to go back and get on the mullet. You even want to get on tarpon now? <laughs> Man, that, that was epic getting on those big fish like that. You cannot beat it. Nothing like a big, beautiful, green, gold, yellow, all lit up mahi. It's my favorite fishing and it's no wonder why everybody will spend tons of money just to go out there and catch the small ones. But today, it was all about the big ones, baby. My name's Captain Mike. This is Luis. We're out of here, tight lines, great fishing. Take it easy, guys. Would you believe we caught all these fish right here in state waters in a previous video i told you guys that the regulations have changed federal remain the same but in state you're only allowed five per person and would you believe it that we caught all these fish in about 80 to 100 feet of water which made us in state waters meaning we can only keep five per person we kept seven total fish here released a bunch more could have kept as many as you wanted but it's very rare for us to catch these quality fish here in this plentiful off uh, right there in state water. So it was nice to know that if we didn't know that, we probably wouldn't have kept any more fish, but still it's a regulation that we're glad came in attack, but it's something that really doesn't change the effects on mahi fishing because we really don't catch them too often in those shallow waters, especially this plentiful. And in these numbers, it was just a great day of fishing, epic.
what they were eating. Little flowers, we call them gumdrops. And here is an absolute delicacy, fresh row.